What's up developers, I'm that one Unity Dev, and today we'll be taking a look at how to implement a more interesting enemy spawner for your wave based game. Imagine you're playing a wave based game where the first wave is 10 slimes, 5 bats, and 1 chicken. Eventually, you lose, you retry the game, and then you go back to the first wave, and bam, you're greeted by those same 10 slimes, 5 bats, and 1 chicken. Okay, no big deal. You carry on playing, having fun for a while, until you die yet again. You restart, and what do you know? You see your pals from before, waiting for you on the first wave. You get a little agitated this time, shrug your shoulders, and you press onward. Until eventually, you die, and you try again. And again, and again, and again. Okay, maybe this example is a little extreme, but you get the point. As game developers, it's easy to forget how something so simple impacts the people that play your game. So let's fix the problem by creating a system that makes unique waves. In this tutorial, instead of predefined waves, we'll create a point-based system, which will scale upwards and select enemies for each wave based on a cost. To save a bit of time, and to get to the good stuff, I set up a new 2D project with basic sprites as well as logic for the player and a couple of enemies. Then, after everything was set up, I created an empty game object, named it Wave Spawner, created a new Wave Spawner script, and attached it to the Wave Spawner object. Before we get into the actual programming, it'd be a good idea to come up with a plan and lay out how this thing will work. The best way to describe the system would be to imagine it as sort of a shop. For example, let's say the wave spawner starts with 10 currency, which it can spend however it pleases. Now, let's say a slime costs 1 currency. So the wave spawner chooses it, writes it to a list, and now it has 9 currency remaining. It then continues buying monsters until its currency reaches 0. And that's the essence of how this works. So let's get on with the coding. We'll create a new public class in our wave spawner called enemy. We give it a system.serializable header so we can edit it in the inspector and two variables, one for the enemy prefab and one for the value it will cost. Back at the top of the script, we can add a new list for our enemies and two integer variables, one for the current wave and one for our wave value. After that, let's create a couple functions to hold some logic. We can create one for generating the wave and one for generating our enemies. Inside the generate wave function, we can set our wave value and call the generate enemies function. Now to generate our enemies. We will want to make a temporary list of enemies, then create a while loop which will repeat until we have no currency left. In that loop, we will grab a random enemy, see if we can afford it, and if we can, we'll add it to our list deduct the cost, and do that until we have no points left. At the top of the script, we create yet another list to hold our generated enemies, which we will clear to ensure it's empty, and then assign at the bottom of our generate enemies function. I forgot to subtract the cost from our total after we add an enemy, so I quickly add that. Then, in start, I call the generate wave function. If we go into Unity and assign our enemy prefabs and some values, you can see that when I hit play, we get a list that populates with random enemies. All that's left to do now is spawn in our enemies and remove them from the list. Back in our script, we can add a few variables. The first we add is a transform for our spawn location. Next, we add a wave duration and wave timer variable. These will determine the overall length of our waves. Then, we add a spawn interval and spawn timer variable which will be for controlling when our enemies spawn during the wave. With these variables, we can do some quick math in our generate wave function to determine when each enemy should spawn and assign our wave timer. Now for the actual spawning. In update, we check to see if our spawn timer is less than zero, and if it is, it means it's time to spawn an enemy. Otherwise, we reduce the spawn timer and the wave timer. Before we spawn an enemy, we need to check if we have any to spawn. Then, we spawn it at the spawn location, remove it from our list, and reset our spawn timer. If we don't have any enemies left to spawn, we simply end the wave. Make sure you change update to fix update for a more accurate timer. Now, back in Unity, create an empty object and put it where you want the enemies to spawn. Make sure you assign it under your wave spawner and set the wave duration. I set mine to 20. Now when you hit play, you can see your randomly generated enemies spawning at fixed intervals. 
But that just about wraps it up for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and maybe even learned a thing or two. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment if you plan on using a similar system in your game. 